Okay, in this video we're going to check out the bread system or the browse, read, edit, add, and delete functionality that you get with Voyager. So let's go ahead and check out how all of this works. Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the Voyager bread system. And bread stands for browse, read, edit, add, and delete. So we could simply browse, read, edit, add, and delete any data type in our database. So let's say, for instance, that we want to create a products table and we want to have browse, read, edit, add, and delete functionality for all of our products. Well, we can easily do that using the Voyager bread system. So right here in front of us, we are at the Voyager dashboard. But if we go over here to the menu and we go to tools and database, then we can see all the current tables in our database. And next to each table, there are some bread icons. And this essentially says that this table has bread associated with it. And with that, we can go to slash admin slash, and then we have pages. So we can actually go to the pages and this is the browse view for our pages. And then if we go back, we can also see that we have this for posts, for menus, for roles. So if we go to any of these specific sections, we go to admin slash roles, we are now viewing the browse section for the roles. So let's go ahead and go back and let's add a new table. And then let's go ahead and create some bread for that table. So let's go ahead and say create new table. And I'm going to name this table products. And then I'll say yes, I want to create a model for this table. I can additionally create a migration for this table if I would like to. But for now, I'm just going to have the ID field. And then I'm also going to give it a name. I'm going to add a new field. And maybe I want to give this a description or maybe even a body for the specific product page. So let's say body, and maybe we want this to be of type text. And then let's say add new field. And then I want this to be an image and we'll just keep that as a string. And then it will add the timestamps and then click on create new table. And now we have successfully created the table. And what I can do is I can actually go back into my project. And now inside of my app folder, I will see a new file here called products. And this is the model that was created when we said that we wanted to create the model. But I'm going to go ahead and rename this instead of products. I'm just going to rename this to singular product. Now what we can do is we can go to the admin database and we can actually say that we want to add bread to this table. So we want to add bread to our products table. So as we can see, when we click on create bread for this table, we can see all of the fields that we've created. So we have ID, name, body, image, and we have created at and updated at fields. So what I can do is I can say that I want to have this name visible for the browse, read, edit, add, and delete views. And I want this to be a text box. And then down here we have the body. And maybe I don't want to actually be able to view the whole body whenever I'm viewing out a list of all of my products. So I can say that I don't want this to be on visible on the browse section. And we also need to specify, instead of this being a text box, let's go ahead and make this body a text area. And then let's scroll down and we have the image and we want this to actually be of type image. So let's go ahead and say that we want the image to be of type image and the created at and updated at are just fine. So let's go ahead and scroll down and we know that we want the model name to be app slash product. And we also may want to specify an icon. And let's go ahead and check out this Voyager font class and we can use any of these fonts for use in the Voyager admin. So I know there is a Voyager bag icon and I'm just going to copy this. And I will just paste that in and then I want to generate permissions and then I want to click on submit. So now after I've done that, I just said that I wanted to create permissions for this specific table to be able to view the browse, read, edit, add and delete. So before I can actually view those, I need to go into my roles. And since I am an admin user, I will then want to click on the edit for the admin. And if I scroll down, I will see that I have some new permissions that I need to add for the admin role. So I can just click on this and it will add all the permissions for the browse, read, edit, add and delete. So now that my user has permissions to view the products, browse, read, edit, add and delete, I can simply go to admin slash products. And I will be able to see the browse view for the products. Then if I additionally want to add maybe a menu item, I can do that here. And I've already added the menu item just because I wanted to speed this up a little bit more. 
So we have here a product menu item and I can click on that. And then we're here at the browse section for the products. So now let's go ahead and click on add new. We can see that we have each of the rows that we've specified in the bread builder here on the add new product page. So you can see that we have the name, we have the body and we have an image. So let's go ahead and say that we want to add a new product. And let's go ahead and just take for example, say the Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and just go to images.google.com and I'm just gonna search for Apple Watch. And let's go ahead and just select this one here. I'm gonna view that image and I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. So then I will want to give the name, which is going to be Apple Watch. And then body, I can say the Apple Watch and give some description, blah, blah, blah. And I can add some body content if I would like here. So then I can say choose image and I want to select on the desktop and I want to select the Apple Watch right here. And then I can go ahead and click on submit to create a new product. And as you can see, now we have the name, we have the image created at, and then if we click on view, we can also see the body that I've, I've added. So let's go ahead and change up, say instead for the body, maybe we don't want this to be a text area. Instead, maybe we want this to be a rich text box so we can bold some of our text, we can italicize it, add images, and just add a bunch of content to the body of the product. So let's go ahead and go back into the database, and we are going to edit the bread for this product. So then if I scroll down for the body, I can select which type that I want this to be or what input type that I want this specific column to be. So you can see you can do this with any column that you've created in your database. You can specify if you want this to be an image, a file, a select drop down, a text box, a rich text box, or any other type of input. So in this case, let's go ahead and say rich text box. And I'm going to change the display name. So I'm just going to say body of product. And then over here on the right, we have optional details. And these are some more optional details, a little bit more advanced details that you can use for like image cropping or specifying a relationship in a dropdown. And I will have this in a future video, but for now I just want to show the basics of the bread system. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. And then I will go back into the products and I can either add new or I can edit the current product. And you can see now that the body of the product, instead of it being a text area, it is now a rich text box. So I could also upload some more images or maybe I wanted to add a GIF here. So I could say, I watch Apple watch. So I can go ahead and select this one and insert that into the post. So you can see that now we can even bold some of the text, italicize it. And it's pretty cool because then you can customize the way that you want to add a new product or edit a product. So it's pretty cool and it comes in pretty handy for being able to build these uh, full scaffolds of your application. So if you want to have products, posts, pages, or any other data type that you want to have in your application, you can then use Voyager to build the bread for that table and users or admins can then log into Voyager and add, edit, or delete any of those data types.